If you had asked me in the past whether teardrop camper could suffocate you, I would have thought you were nuts. But now I sleep in mine more often. I did some research and found out that some people have had close calls while sleeping in a closed teardrop. Curious, I asked ChatGPT to calculate the air supply for my camper's dimension with two people inside. The result? We might run out of air in about three hours. I have no interest in testing that theory firsthand, so I have decided to eliminate that risk entirely by adding a vent to my teardrop. So just to be clear, most of the time it's not an issue at all because when I go to sleep, normally I keep this uh, screen window a crack open so the fresh air can come in. The challenge comes when it rains really hard and uh, there's wind blowing. It happened a couple of times that the water will start to uh, sip into the camper from here. And, but I couldn't close, fully close it because I don't want to run out of air. And that's when I was you know, hoping at a time that I can have a different vent that even when it rains hard or it's cold, I don't want to keep this open. I can have a vent that air can come in and also I can turn on the fan so, so the air can start to circulate inside the camper. I bought this event from Amazon. So this will be inside, this will be outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a hole here and I install this on the inside. And from the outside it will look like this. So I'm going to punch a hole here and this will sit here and I have a air will come into here and go inside the camper and I have a ventilation fan on the top suck the air in and so the air can circulate so the other reason I put the vent there because of the hot air comes from this corner and this corner my hope is uh, when I put this uh, vent here it helps the ventilation of the refrigerator Oh, I've come out from this side. <clears throat> Whoa. Now the vent is installed. I think I'm gonna run a unscientific test. So I taped a piece of tissue here. My expectation was once I close everything, I turn the exhaust fan on and this tissue of paper will start to move. What surprised me is wind is blowing hard from that direction. It actually started to move the paper already. So I know air is coming, but I'm gonna turn on the fan to test anyway. So I just turn on the fan, close out the doors. Let's see if it changes anything. Well, you can tell. You can tell it is sucking air from there. So that means it is working. So like they're saying, two for one, one for none. So I added a, just ordered a carbon monoxide alarm. I'm gonna toss in here just in case. To sum it up, I add this air ventilation to address the concern of a potential suffocation when all the doors are closed and people are sleeping inside.
I think it's very unlikely that people can get suffocated inside the camper even without the vent hole but this vent hole will just eliminate that possibility so it's along the same line when I add this uh, Tom box I moved the propane tank and the canisters to this little Tom box so it's not inside the cabin although this canister will leak inside the cabin it's very unlikely but when I put it inside here it will never leak inside the cabin it's just uh, some safety uh, precaution here are some of the scenes from a camping trip two weeks ago. Thanks for watching.